Hi everyone, so you may be new to my channel with this video, but if you have been watching, if you're subscribed and have been watching my recent videos, you'll see I'm kind of back on a bit of a law of attraction journey and really focusing on manifesting certain things and setting intentions in my life. So it's definitely a topic I'm passionate about and I really want to keep sharing with you guys. Please do thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoy this, if you like this topic and want me to make more of this content. I think I'm going to keep making it anyway, sorry. Sorry, not sorry, but I really enjoy it. I think it's an amazing topic to share. It's become very popular recently. I just want, I see so much content and I want, that's like literally the only content I've been watching recently on YouTube. So this is pretty random and like quite sporadic, but I've thought of, I think maybe four or five things. Um, the, whatever it says in the title of signs and synchronicities that what you're manifesting is coming and that the intention you set is actually coming to you right now and it's almost physically here in your life. So in no particular order, this could happen at any point, days apart, minutes apart, whatever it is, you will know when you see it. And I think generally when aligned with the right vibration and just on the right level, we know and I just personally, from my experience, I just get a feeling and I know that it's a, a positive sign. So first thing is angel numbers and you've probably heard this a lot or if you know a lot about law of attraction you'll know repeating numbers, especially 1111, very very like powerful positive numbers to see. So there is a meaning behind each one. It can be interpreted in many many ways, there's no one set meaning. Obviously you don't see one number and it means like yeah you're gonna get a car or oh you're about to get into a relationship. Obviously that's not the way things work, it just gives you signs that you're in the right direction and yeah usually when I try and bring myself back into a positive state or like reaffirm positive things for myself and just trust in the process I start to see these signs or they'll just pop up at random times and I know it's like reassurance for me. So my, num my the numbers I see a lot is 1111 which obviously it's like the best one. I think even people who don't practice law of attraction know that it's like a positive number to make. Actually I would always see it at work with my friend and I, we'd always message each other when we see it be like quick make a wish and I still think that's like a very powerful sign and actually I think 1111 means that your like angels and guardian angels are watching over you and like guiding you and you're definitely on the right path so that's the meaning that I choose to take from that and I literally just saw it this morning when I went downstairs it wasn't even 1111 the time on the oven was set rock to the wrong time but at the moment that I looked at it it said 1111 and I had just been thinking something very positive so I took it to mean that my thoughts are manifesting and yeah I also see things like 222 it can literally be any sequence of numbers but obviously the point is to connect that with a positive feeling and just take that as reassurance and affirmation so you have absolutely nothing to worry about you're being guided you are like aligning yourself to, taking your own power into your own hands, making things happen for yourself. So you're basically on the right track. Of course, you don't have to see this sign. Um, sometimes we're just not aligned to seeing that. We're not, our minds are not yet like fully open to recognizing that and connect. Cause like those numbers will be everywhere, but if we're not drawn to seeing them and it's not the right time to see them, they just won't show up because I'm sure over the years when I didn't practice law of attraction, I saw it a lot, but I just didn't attach any meaning to it. So next sign will be the synchronicities. So for me, obviously I believe in God. So for me, it's a sign from God. You can call it universe, source, whatever it is you choose to believe in. So those signs will be if you're speaking about something and that thing just shows up. For me, what happens a lot is um, it comes up in like adverts or pictures just like random phrases show up. So recently I was speaking to a friend about a pair of trainers and then I saw two adverts for the same pair of trainers um, not long after, which obviously it's not a crazy coincidence or occurrence, but for me it just showed me that my thoughts and like the things I'm focusing on align with what will show up in my life. Another thing was, this is just like not about manifestation, but in general, I feel like I'm really aligned. I listened to uh, Camila Cabello's new song, Living Proof, and then I opened up my advent calendar and the product that, like an hour after I listened to it, 
was called Living Proof. Just thought it was quite funny how that lined up and I've had loads of things happen like that, like where I'll be talking about a topic and then it'll show up later in the day in another form, someone else will bring it up to me, um, yeah, just little things like that and to some people that may mean nothing but to me it really does mean that everything I'm focusing and putting energy on and speaking about is coming into existence, is coming back into my life. For example, if you are trying to manifest a new job, whether it's a promotion or a completely new job, you will maybe watch a TV show and that someone on that show will be talking about how they just got that job or how yeah, they, they got a job offer for that or you'll see online adverts just randomly pop up for no reason or someone in your life will bring it up or you'll see like for example a phrase on an advert that says like your dream job is waiting. I see things like that all the time where it says like positive phrases about like um, having a good relationship or like achieving your dreams. Something I always see now is an advert for a podcast where it says act it, become it. That is like such a positive sign. We're basically saying um, act as if and connect your behavior and emotions to what you want and then you'll become it. So I take that as a really positive sign. So it's just little things like that. Obviously it applies to what exactly you're trying to manifest, but you'll see loads of synchronicities where what you're thinking about and what you're desiring aligns. So, so. I've seen it loads and eventually I will make a video on this, like talking about all my experiences, because honestly, I have so many crazy things like this that happen. Yeah, so that is the second sign you may see. Third sign could be your how you're actually just feeling generally. So two kind of contrasting emotions is feeling nervous and also feeling excited. You may have a bit of like a nervous energy bubbling up inside you, whether it is when you're thinking about your manifestation or just in general, you feel like there's something coming, there's something changing. You're not sure where the energy is coming from, but you're just feeling a little bit nervous. And a little bit of doubt is okay, um, so long as you know you still have belief in what's coming for you and that you basically have achieved what you want and that it's on its way to you. Having a little bit of doubt and thinking like, oh, do I actually want this? Or like, maybe I should focus on something else. Maybe I'll just move on with my life and it's okay if it doesn't come. That is perfectly fine. That's a form of detachment. If you're not super focused and intent, like, oh, I have to have this, that is a really good sign that you're just like letting things happen, letting things go, getting on with your life as normal and just allowing that manifestation to come to you in natural timing. So again, on the opposite end of the spectrum would be excitement and just like fulfillment where you just, you know that feeling in your heart where you just feel like so fulfilled and you feel like you already have what you want. It's that feeling like when you're really looking forward to something that you that is about to happen, you just have so much excitement in you. I've had that quite a few times as well recently with things I'm manifesting and that is such a positive sign that you're in alignment because you would feel that way if you had it and if you knew for a fact, well you should know for a fact that it's yours because that's the way manifesting works and that's how God's power works. But you should feel excited and knowing that if you were to have it, you'd feel so fulfilled and happy anyway. So if you just get those random like feelings of excitement, that is a really positive sign that you are in alignment and you're just on the right track to getting what you want. So those are the top three signs that I've noticed for myself. I think are probably some of the biggest indicators that you're on the right path, that you are aligning yourself like emotionally, vibrationally, to everything that you want and of course there are a lot more I can delve into other aspects of this in other videos I just thought I would highlight some of the most prominent ones for me do leave a comment below with other signs that you've seen if you're on the law of attraction journey too if you're manifesting something let me know I'd love to know your experience with it as well and do thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed hopefully I didn't ramble too much I tried to explain this as best as I can but there's just so much to this whole topic and everything I could make 100 videos which I probably will eventually but yeah do thumbs up and subscribe if this is something that you want and I'll see you next time bye